Callcats. This is Mina with another episode of Trails in the Sky. I have unfortunate news. I lost the audio to, well, the voice recording audio for it. Um, this episode and the next episode of Trails. I don't know what happened to it. The only positive side is that the game audio is not lost. So, unfortunately, what we have to deal with is me reading over what happened. And that's going to lose some of the emotion from a bit of the, you know, stuff that happens. But there's nothing I can really do about it. So, um, first of all, I uh, got some information that I should pay attention to the points that I get from the uh, quests and stuff. So, I went ahead and equipped that eagle eye there that helps me see enemies in the distance, which did help me. I spent forever in the mist vault here. Like... A pretty terrible amount. So this is the mist walls, huh? Can you tell us anything, Shara? Someone came through here all right. From what I can see, a number of people passed through here not long ago. I'd wager Mira we're on the right track. How can you be so sure? Because tracking fugitives is an essential skill for bracers. Anyway, let's check the woods. Be sure to keep your voices low. Roger that! Understood. So yeah, um, I had so many encounters in here. I didn't know where I was supposed to go. <laughs> um, I did eventually find my way through here. Um, yeah, this is just the tail end of a little bit of a fight. Um, and oh my god, Cher. Just, just missing all the time. <laughs> Joshua has to be the one to handle this. Yeah, I eventually found my way through here. I was getting <laughs> pretty upset about not finding my way through. Okay, just scooch on by past that monster. <laughs> that was too easy. And to think something as exquisite as this fell into my hands with almost no effort. Wait till Don and Kyle hear about this. You surprised me, that's for sure. The way you pulled off that act wearing a school uniform was simply astounding. Just what you'd expect from the mademoiselle of an ex-aristocratic family. Yeah, yeah, but what's in the past is in the past. But it certainly doesn't hurt that this in this outfit I can deceive almost anyone. A gullible mare and dim-witted bracer girl. Idiots. <laughs> the whole lot of them. What was that? Calm down. Let's see what else they have to say. F fine, but I'm not happy about this. Yeah, but that girl seemed pretty tough. I mean, she took care of all the monsters that appeared in the mine. The mine? Oh, you mean the one who screwed up their job? If you'd just done it like you were supposed to, wouldn't have had to put on a monkey show to get this thing. My apologies. Eh, forget about it. All's well that ends well. At any rate, those two kids being braces was an absolute joke. Especially the brainless bimbo. She honestly believed we could be friends. What a freaking moron. I had to try so hard just to keep from laughing. <laughs> How stupid could you be? <laughs> it's just absurd. Now that is rich. What's so funny? It's you guys. Yep, it's the brainless bimbo and her absolute joke of a bracer partner. And this probably won't come as a surprise, but we're going to beat you up now. What bracers? How did they find... Did a fine job stealing that septum from the mayor's residence, but looks like you're a little careless in the end. In accordance with the laws of the Bracer Guild, you are hereby under arrest and charged with breaking and entering, vandalism, and burglary. It would be in your best interest not to resist, but I'm sure Estelle is hoping you will. This doesn't look good. Well, what are we going to do now, Josette? How about you quit quaking in your boots, for starters? These Bracers are nothing more than a ragtag group of kids. Next time we show them the real strength of the Kapua family. 
Who are you calling us kids, you you brat? I've had it up to here, and I'm gonna do something about it right now. Well, that's my line. Alright, boys, get him. My pleasure, Roger that. Understood. Okay, so a little myth that I didn't have all my my uh orbs ready for um this fight, but it's fine. The main thing was was I wanted to take out uh <laughs> take out these uh extras. Cause I figured the boss probably has like most resistance or whatever, so as you can see, I decided to go to heal myself there. Just give them a little bit of time to move it up towards me. Um, such a decision. What element should I cast? Should I just fight them? <laughs> decision, decision. Um, I wanted this guy to move up. I was playing it risky there, letting them uh, get some hits off on me. As you can see, having like four four people gang up on me here is a little, little bad. So. Stella's on full white mage duty at the moment. This was a super manageable fight. This wasn't hard. Um, I mean, they, they, they do damage, but it's kind of like I'm I'm able to heal and... Uh, oh yeah, that was pretty worth, worthless. Look at that, she heals herself. She's already at full health. I didn't understand that either when I first recorded this. I was pretty confused because I thought she was going to cast some sort of like attack spell that would have... Really, uh, hurt. No, that's not what happened. Okay, let's just go ahead and get rid of that guy. Remembered I had dual strike to so go ahead and basically do uh, double duty there. I, I actually ended up getting two septium up uh, kills here on those guys. There's gonna be a little bit of a jump cut here, but uh, I did re recall uh, I, I was paying attention to like the, the sidebar there where you can. Um, who was going to get bonus effects and, um, by casting a spell there I took advantage of that and then I was like what the heck I barely did any physical damage and I was like well magic it is I believe that was my exact word also there was a jump cut sorry it's just I did a bunch of spell casting it wasn't interesting <laughs> Had enough yet? That's what you get for taking bracers lightly. And we'll be taking this back if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Covered septium crystal. Hey, that septium belongs to me. No, not to you. To the people of Roland, that's who. The sheer nerve you have to say something like that is astounding. Now that we've got the crystal back, how about we move on to confession time? It's an interesting name you mentioned. The Kapua family, was it? Me and my big mouth. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. So you want to be a tough egg to crack, do you? I don't mind at all. In fact, I like them that way. Ah! What are you trying to do? That's a dangerous thing to be swinging around like that. Well, if you can't answer with your mouth, then maybe your body can answer instead. But don't worry, I'll be extra gentle. Away from me, you crazy witch! I 
Pink Share is enjoying this. Let's just sit back and enjoy the show. Look out, Shara. An orbital gun. Are you all right, Shara? I'm fine. Forget about me. Look at that. This was crazy when it showed up. An airship? <laughs> Looks like the tables have turned in our favor now, aren't they? Are you okay, Josette? Kyle, you're late. Where have you been? Oh, never mind. Just hurry up and give us a hand. No can do. Our push into the Roland region has been put on hold. Something big has come up in Bose region while you're away. What's that supposed to mean? I don't have time to explain. Hurry and hop on or I'll have to leave you behind. Crap. Just where do you think you're going? We'll pick this up another day. And don't think you've won either. Payback's gonna be a beast. That's pretty brave to not um, get on board. You just hang on the bottom of that. I, wasn't ex I sure wasn't expecting something like that coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> looks like they cut us all off, guy. This isn't a laughing matter. Right now I'm so frustrated I don't even know what to think. Well, on the bright side, we did get the Septium Crystal back. Switching gears, that group sure looked to me like a bunch of Sky Bandits. Yes, they certainly seem of that variety. It also sounds like they've made the Bozer region their base of operations as well. I certainly wouldn't have expected a group like that to travel all the way to a rural place like Roland. I couldn't care less if they're Sky Bandits or Brigands. The next time I see that scruffy lying jerk of a tomboy, I'm gonna Thwack Bam Kapow her! What's Thwack Bam Kapow supposed to mean? Thus, the Septian Crystal stolen from the Mayor's residence was safely recovered. After returning it to the mayor, Estelle and the others return to the guild to report the details of the incident. It looks like you've had a rough day. Who would have thought the Sky Bandits would appear? I don't blame you for letting them escape. No, this time it was my fault. I should have been more careful. I'm really far from being in the same league as Cassius. It's not your fault, Shara. I let my emotions get the best of me and... I was careless as well. No, you guys did a great job. Your on-site investigation of the mayor's residence was flawless, too. Don't you think we should recommend them, Ina? Yes, I was thinking the same thing as well. Recommend? What do you mean? Hold your horses. First comes the payment for a job well done. Receive payment for mayoral theft. Current rank is Junior Bracer, 7th class. This is for you both, then take this as well. Received recommendation. This is... As of now, you are both Junior Bracers. In other words, Bracers in training. In order to become Senior Bracers, you'll need to receive recommendations from all regional branches in the kingdom. This is your recommendation from the Roland branch. Is it really okay for us to have this? I heard that in order to become a full-fledged Bracer, we need to achieve something fairly noteworthy. I think in light of the jobs reformed in your father's stead and your great showing here, your achievements are sufficient. However, those achievements are only for your work here in Roland. You'll need to receive recommendations from other regional branches after achieving success there as well. Bose, Ron, Zeiss, and finally Gransel. You still got a long road ahead of you. Even so, I'm really happy. It was worth all that hard work. Now that we've come this far, don't you think we should visit the other regions too, Joshua? I would figured you'd say as much. I agree with you, but we can't decide this all by ourselves. We should discuss it with Dad when he gets home. Right! Oh, that's the telephone, right? Hello, this is the Bracer Guild's Rollet Branch in the Liberal Kingdom. Ah, it's been a while since we last talked, hasn't it? I see. Are you sure? That's terrible. I wonder if something happened. It looks that way to me. Yes, that's right. He left on business the other day. What? I, 
apologize, but this is a little difficult to believe. Understood. I'll pass on the news to his family. They'll be fine. They're bracers, too. Yes, and if you hear anything else, let me know. What's wrong, Ina? It's unusual for you to be so surprised like that. Who was calling? The Bose branch. Something terrible has happened. The airliner Linde has disappeared over the Bose region. What? How was that possible? I don't know any of the details, but the Royal Army is currently conducting a wide-scale search. Due to this event, all other flights have been postponed. Well, this certainly explains the backup at the landing port. And... Ina? Estelle, Joshua, please brace yourselves. Your father, Cassius, was aboard the airliner which went missing. Well, impossible. This has got to be some kind of mistake. It seems his name was on the passenger list. Liberal Bracer Guild Rollet Branch, Senior Bracer Cassius Bright, 45. Prologue, A Father's Love, A New Beginning, End. Alright, go ahead and... There was a save that happened there. <clears throat> Estelle, are you in there? Joshua? Dinner's ready. Just to let you know, we'll be having roasted basil chicken and onion soup gratin. That sounds so good. I'll come down later, so why don't you two go on ahead and eat? Alright. Well, make sure to come down before your food gets cold. The Wheel of Fortune card, again. Something really is going on. I just can't see what it is. Where's Estelle? She said to go on ahead and eat without her. She didn't seem to have an appetite. I see. She took the news a lot better than I thought she would. It's not surprising she doesn't want to come out of her room, seeing as how close she is with her father. I agree. So what do you think about all of this, Shara? Is it an accident? An incident. To be honest, I couldn't say either way. Your dad was a top class, class bracer. When it comes to crisis management, he's the best there is. Whichever it is, if your father happens to be there, it'll be resolved. But the fact is, an airliner along with your father has gone missing. In other words, what you're trying to say is that things that shouldn't have happened happened, right? Don't lose heart on me now. You need to be a stout wall of support and bear Estelle up. I'll get to work tomorrow and see what I can find. Man, it sure smells good down here. I can't stand it any longer. What? Estelle, are you okay? I'm so hungry I thought I was going to pass out. Oh, this looks so good. Bon appetit. Aren't you two having any? This is great. The basil flavor really comes out when you roast it. You sure know how to cook, Joshua. Well, well thanks. Come on, Shara, don't you sit there too? Do you want to drink some of my dad's brandy from his secret stash? I'm pretty sure there's a bottle of Steinrose that's about 20 years old in there. Did you say Steinrose? And 20 years old too? Shara, what do you think you're doing? Uh, sorry, Estelle. I'm going to have to pass this time. By the way, what were you doing up in your room? You didn't come down even after Joshua called you for supper. Huh? Oh, right. I was just looking for some extra underwear. I was having a bit of trouble finding one of my favorites because it was stuffed in the back of one of the drawers. But underwear? Oh, and a set of gear for traveling. I mean, who knows how long we'll be gone, so I figure as long as we're prepared, we'll have nothing to worry about. Uh, so what you're saying is, you intend to head to Bose to find your father. 
Well, duh, that's a no-brainer. And while I can't imagine anything bad happened to him, despite his horrible luck, waiting around just doesn't suit me, so I'm gonna go check things out for myself. <sighs> you really are something else. Whether it's your positive attitude or thick skin, I can't say, but... What? You're so rude, Joshua. But you're coming along too, right? Of course. However, it looks like all airliner flights have been cancelled until the army finishes their search. It seems like the only way to Bose is on foot. Walk to Bose, huh? I wonder how long that's going to take. For a bracer on foot, if they hurry, they can make it there in about half a day. But if that's the route you're taking, that makes things easy. I think I'll tag along as well. Really? You'll come with us? But aren't you busy with a bunch of other jobs? Hey, I trained under your father, right? Did you honestly think I'd sit here when something could have happened to the person I owe so much to? I'm going to talk to Ina and have her pass my jobs at the guild to another member. Shara, I really appreciate this, Shara. You really shouldn't be thanking me. I just can't leave a job as big as this up to a bunch of newbies. I hate to say it, but you're probably right. Oh well, since Shara's along for the ride now, I do feel a bit more confident. We appreciate you coming along with us. Hee <laughs> hee, myself as well. Anyway, let's make sure to drop by the guild tomorrow morning before we leave. I'll need to explain the situation to Ina. Chapter 1, Disappearance of the Linde. I understand the situation now. To be frank, though, with Shares the Hard taking off after Cassius, I'm going to be really short-handed. But since this involves him directly, please don't worry about anything. I really appreciate this, Ina. Make good use of Ridge while you're gone. He should be able to deal with at least three times his normal workload. Don't you think that's a bit harsh? Don't worry, if things get too hectic, I'll ask help from the Gransel branch. By the way, Sherzard, can I get a minute? I'd like to talk with you about the job you are going to do. Sure, no problem. Estelle, Joshua, could I have you two wait upstairs? I'll be done in a minute. Understood. Um, Shara? If we're going to be waiting, would you mind if we did it in front of the clock tower? There's a bit of pause here because I figured this might have to do something with our mother. I'd like to say hi to someone. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, and let's meet up in front of the clock tower. As soon as I'm done here, I'll head over there myself. Got it. Come on, Joshua. Uh, sure. I assume that it had something to do with her mother, based on uh, how she reacted when I first tried to come up here. Septian Calendar 1075, erected in partnership with the liberal royal family, Septian Church, and Roland City. Septian Calendar 1192, destroyed during the Hundred Days War when Roland was bombarded by the Erobian Imperial Army. Septian Calendar 1197, rebuilt with the cooperation of the citizens of Roland. Every time I see this clock tower, I always think. They sure did a superb job restoring it after the war. You can sure feel the spirit of Roland's people from this. Um, Joshua? What do you think about going up with me and waiting until Shara shows up? You mean the clock tower? Sure, I don't mind. Okay, come on. The morning air is so refreshing. Hey look, Joshua, you can see the house from here. You're right, I can see the roof. But, do you want to tell me what's going on since you've always avoided coming up here? I was under the impression that you didn't like this place. I like this place, but I just can't casually come up here. Because this is the place where my mom died. What? Ten years ago, during the war, when the Imperial Army surrounded Roland, they bombarded the symbol of the city, the clock tower, to try and get the citizens to surrender. 
This was the time Dad was fighting in the Royal Army. I wanted to see who he was fighting against, so I climbed up the clock tower. And when the bombardment started, I couldn't get away. When I came to, I hardly had a scratch on me. My mother had saved me. I was wrapped tightly in her arms, shielded from the rubble. And as I cried, she sang my favorite lullaby. I'm glad I'm not crying this time. Well, oh, I, I broke out in tears while I was trying to read that the first time. Um, I guess that's a downside of having the re-recorded audio is you don't get to hear me start to bawl. This is actually pretty upsetting, though. Even though I'm having to <laughs> watch it a second time. But when they finally dug us free... After the war ended, and this place had been rebuilt, I avoided coming up here for the most part. It's not because I have painful memories of this place, though. It's just, when I come here, a part of me wants to draw on her strength. Plus, I felt that I can't be strong like her if I'm always trying to rely on her. Estelle. But today is okay, right? Relying on her just this once? Asking her to bring Dad home safely? Oop, getting choked. Asking her to protect him? Of course it is. And don't worry, Dad's safe for sure. Your mother's protecting him, so there's no doubt in my mind that he's safe. And if he happens to be in a bit of trouble, then you can come to his rescue. Just like your mother did for you, you can do the same for your dad. And don't forget, I'm here to help you too. Joshua, I know I can't completely understand everything you've been through, but I can stay here by your side as I am now. And if you need a shoulder to cry on, you've always got mine, so... <laughs> huh? <laughs> Joshua, you're trying too hard. You shouldn't say things like that so lightly. What, what do you mean? If I were any other girl, I would have totally misinterpreted your intentions just now. You are seriously the type who's going to have problems with romantic relationships in the future. More like the present. I'm already starting to get worried. Well, excuse me for trying to be nice. Why do you have to be like that when someone's genuinely worried about you? Thanks for cheering me up, Joshua. I feel a lot better now. I guess as long as I get some kind of thanks, it's almost worth looking like a complete fool. You are unbelievable. Don't be mad. I'm really thankful, believe it or not. Let's how about we get down from here, huh? I'm sure Cher is waiting for us. You're probably right. Mom, I finally realized why I wanted to become a bracer. It's so I could become strong and protect others just like you. So please watch and see. I won't fail to bring Dad home safe again. Oh, the two of you had such a cute scene going on up there. Right? <laughs> <sighs> Why, my cheeks are even a feel a bit hot just thinking about it. What's that supposed to mean? You were spying on us? Give me some credit, will you? I just happened to see you when I looked up to check the time. I sure wish I had a normal camera to get a shot of that view. Come on. What are you trying to say, Shara? That's called family bonding, plain and simple. It's kind of like your habit of hugging everyone after your third bottle of wine. <sighs> Let's not get into that. What's with the sigh? You really don't know how to take a joke, do you? Well, whatever. Did you say hi to Lena while you were up there? Yeah. I even asked for her to watch over Dad. I see, then I guess it looks like you're all set. You know, Lena's protection is equal to that of the goddess herself. Your dad's safety is pretty much guaranteed. I think you may be giving her a little too much credit. I'll let you mention it. You met Estelle's mother before, right, Shara? Yeah, when I was a child. I was still in a troop at the time. A troop? Yeah, a troop 
in a traveling circus, Cheryl was a dancer. Although it was a long time ago, we first met when she came to Roland with the circus. Twelve years ago, to be exact, I was eleven and Estelle was four. And because of that chance encounter, when I became a bracer, I trained under your father. I didn't know that. Maybe I'll tell you about it sometime when I get the chance. Are you about ready to head out for Bose? If the airline flight is cancelled, we'll just have to make our way to Bose the old-fashioned way, by foot. First, we'll need to make our way to the Verde Bridge checkpoint, which sits on the border of the Bose region. The Verde Bridge is located at the west end of Meltremain Road. It looks like we're all set, so let's go! Alright, so I kind of went around and... Uh, oh yeah, I needed to check here for... This Father Divine, 800 Mira, I'm looking for someone to deliver a personal letter to a colleague of mine in Bose. Please come see me at the Roland Chapel. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I did make sure that I didn't have any quests missing there and ran over here, but I did spend a lot of time talking to NPCs before I left. Oh, good morning, everyone. Are you going on a journey somewhere? Yeah, just over to Bose. Is that so? And in that case, could I ask a favor of you? I had wanted to send Father Holstein a letter, but the airliners are grounded. So how about it? Can I get you to deliver this letter while you're there in Bose? Sure, we'll do it. It shouldn't be a problem since the letter's not that big to begin with. I really appreciate this. Alright then, here you are. Receive Father Divine's letter. So all we need to do is give this letter to Father Holstein in Bose, right? Yes, the chapel is on the east side of Bose City, so it should be fairly easy to locate. Traveling around other regions and broadening your knowledge is food for the mind. I pray that the goddess will guide you on your journey. Alright, so as I said, I kind of wanted to go exploring around and uh, talk to all the NPCs before I left. Um, because I, I think what I really love about Trails in the Sky is how much detail they put into like all these NPCs. Even though they're not like main characters or anything, they, they take their time and give a lot of character to these NPCs. Estelle, Joshua, are you really headed to Bose? <laughs> I should have guessed you'd know. You're always one of the first to hear everything. There's a little something we need to check on, so that's why we're headed to Bose. Not only is Cassius gone, but now you two are leaving. Oh, I want to tag along. Joshua, take me with you. I, uh, don't think that would be a good idea. But I'm concerned about other incidents happening. Get so worried. Yes! I invited her to the Queen's birthday celebration and she said yes! I'm gonna ha have to get a part time job and save up some cash. I waffled back and forth for a bit, but in the end I decided to go to with him to the Queen's birthday celebration as a couple. My mother is already going with her friends. I'm sorry, Mother, but I want to go with him. It's that girl who wanted, like, that perfect... Um, today is another great day for a cat nap. Looks like we'll be able to relax this afternoon. Meow! <laughs> but yeah, it's that girl that was waffling back and forth. Oh, it's a silt. You going somewhere? Something like that. I'll be away from Roland for a while. Don't cry yourself to sleep while I'm gone. Shut up! Who's gonna cry themselves to sleep over you? But, you know when you'll be coming back? I have no idea. Oh. Hurry and come back, alright? Did you say something? N never mind. He's got a little crush on her. Okay, this time I'll wait for you like a good girl, so hurry back. If all of you are gone, it's going to be a big drain on my news sources. I finally got the study all cleaned up. It makes me so angry. I spent so much time keeping this place clean every day. We suffered some damage, but I'm glad nobody was hurt. If anything had happened to my husband or Lita, it makes me shudder to think of it. Oh, Estelle and Joshua. You've really been a great service this time. I wish we could have done more. I'm really sorry we let the criminals get away. Never mind that. The fact that you're all safe and the crystal has been recovered is good enough. The general theory seems to be that the Sky Bandits who have been terrorizing the Bose region are the culprits. Yeah, that seems to be what we've gathered as well. I'm 
so just so mad they got away with their airship like that. Ha ha ha, you really can't lay a hand on them if they're up in the sky, though. On the subject of Bose, though, I hear that an airliner went missing there recently. I'm not sure of the exact details, but I've been looking into it as best as I can. I don't think we should let these sky bandits go unchecked, so I think I'll make a call to the mayor of Bose. Oh, are you all off to somewhere? It appears that all airliner flights have been cancelled, so... Yep, that's why we're headed to Bose on foot. There's some things we want to investigate there. Ah, so this has something to do with work, does it? Forgive me for not being aware of the situation. Have a safe trip. Yesterday I saw something flying away from the south. It was too big to be a bird, so it makes me wonder what it was. These old eyes could have been playing tricks on me, though. Oh, <laughs> this guy's making munching sounds. That reminds me, I saw the boss here in town. Better be careful so he doesn't catch me ditching work. If it isn't Estelle and Joshua, what's with all the baggage? Um, actually, Estelle explained that they were heading to Bose. Oh, I see. I'll be worried, too. If I were in your shoes, you better get going, then. Waiting around certainly isn't your style. <laughs> you're right. I'll be going, then. Things have taken a turn for the worst, haven't they? Joshua, make sure to support Estelle, okay? That reminds me, I heard the mayor's place got robbed. Breaking into the mayor's home of all places, now that's what I call bold. I'm just glad that nobody was hurt. And then I went ahead and bought the milk crate from here because I had not learned the recipe. And I wasn't sure if I ate the wholesome po wholesome pasta either, so I just went ahead and ate it, just to be safe. I've made up my mind. I'm going to believe that man that my daughter chose to marry. I'm sure he'll work hard to be independent and make my daughter happy. Maybe I'll see what I can do to help him out. The new menu is so popular that we're always running out of ingredients. This is terribly effective, so I think we'll need to re-examine how we stock our goods. The piece of septium that my dad was asked to engrave for the mayor finally arrived. This is the first time I've ever seen such a splendid piece of smellus. My dad's going, doing the etchings right now. That septium from the mayor has arrived. Now this is one fine crystal, I tell you, and I hear it's going to be a present to Her Majesty the Queen. It's been a while since I've been this excited to do a job, that's for sure. Whew. <laughs> I have a feeling that's going to play a part in the story. Well, I guess Uni won't be able to live under my roof forever. Maybe I should start looking for a husband for my daughter right now, like Renan's mother is looking for him. Oh, I don't know, but... Papa? I'm only seven years old. <laughs> I love that. But that little girl's sass. Recently, my husband and father have started opening up to one each other. I'm so glad. There's nothing better than having a warm and loving family. My daddy's here! He just came home and even said he would play with me later. Yay! Well, if it isn't the two bracers from the other day... Wait, you're the mine chief from the Malga. I want you to know that you really helped me out the other day. The monster scare has finally settled down, too, so I've been finally able to make it home for the first time in a while. My husband finally came home from the mine. I wonder how many days it's been since he was here before now. My daughter is ecstatic and I've prepared a wonderful meal to celebrate. It's been a while since we've eaten together as a family. Lately, my father-in-law has been giving me job advice. Coming from an industry veteran, there's a lot I can learn. It seems I've been pretty conceited over my work in the past. I feel pretty embarrassed about it now. It's good that they're getting along. Hey, Joshua and Estelle, what's with the baggage? Um, actually, where? Estelle and Joshua filled Elgar in on the details. Cassius says what? And that's why you're headed to Bose? Of all people, I can't imagine that anything has happened to him. Yes, I'm under the same impression. Which is why we're off to Bose to check on things. Just sitting around would hardly make us feel better. 
Understandable, that's just like you kids, too. Well, with shares of heart tagging along, I guess there's nothing to be worried about. Good luck and be careful out there. We will. Hello there. Well, tell me everything. How's work? Going well? I don't know if I have the heart to tell her what's going on this time. Same here. She'd probably cry herself to sleep if we did. And then, yeah, I went to the farm, too. Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua, so how are you here up for on business for the guild? The work of a bracer can't be easy, that's for sure. Don't overdo things. Moderation is key. Are you going somewhere, Joshua? Yeah, it seems like I'm headed to the Bose region next door. Will you be back soon? Um, it probably won't be any time soon. Um, Joshua, I'll be waiting for you. So will you come and play with us again? Yeah, I promise. Yay! Jerry has started helping around the farm, so I'm really bored. Maybe I should try helping out on the farm, too. Hey guys, what's up with the packs? Well, it turns out we're headed to Bose. Bose, but I heard the airliners had stopped flying. So that does that mean you're headed there on foot? Seems that way. We'll be fine. I heard that it's not that long of a distance. When it comes to jobs, I guess a bracer's one isn't one that's supposed to be easy. Anyway, take care of yourselves. After the airliners were built, we started receiving orders from various regions. But we're having trouble just keeping an eye on them. I'm overjoyed as far as business goes, but I need to figure a way to deal with things. Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua too. Hello, Mr. Ashton. And this is Sherzahard, if I remember correctly, right? Good afternoon, sir. We'd like to cross over into the Bose region, so we were wondering about getting a pass. Let me guess, this has something to do with the Linde, doesn't it? Yeah. Estelle explains that Cassius was aboard the missing airliner. Goodness, Cassius was aboard? This is Major. I'll issue you a pass right away. Received gate pass. Thank you, sir. But is it all right if you issue us a pass just like this? What are you talking about? I know you kids by face. And as a member of the Royal Army, I should do my best to cooperate with the Bracer Guild. Oh, but one other thing. Huh? Be careful if you have any errands at the Hacken Gate north of here. You might want to hide your identities as Bracers there. What do you mean? I'm sorry, but I can't say any more about the matter. But if you do intend to investigate the incident, please do with... Do so with discretion. I pray to Eidos for Cassius' safe return. Blah, tongue-tied from trying to read this all fast. <laughs> Hello there, are you headed for Bose? We are, but how did you know we weren't just visiting again? Well, a number of people like yourselves have been passing through lately. Exponentially more than usual. Is it because flights have been suspended in the airspace over Bose? That's exactly what happened. You wouldn't believe how busy this place has been because of it. Well, the Royal Army is responsible for all the restricted flights, so you're really not in a position to complain. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. Oh, and another thing. Traffic through this checkpoint is also being regulated. If you want to go through here, you'll have to get a pass from the Chief Warrant Officer next door. Oh, well, we already got one. And an overgate pass. Well, aren't you guys prepared? Okay, then how about I open the gate for you? The soldier opened the gate by remote control. Alright, you're clear to go on through. Once you cross over, you won't be able to come back unless you get a pass from the other side. Please be aware of that before you cross. Got it. Since joining the army, this is the first time I've ever been so busy in my life. I guess it's no time to be fishing or reading books. I just bought this book, but I guess I'll give it to you. The chief would be livid if he caught me with this. Received Carnella, Chapter 2. Anyway, so that's the end of this episode. I, um, <laughs> I did wonder if I had already read the first chapter, or so I was just about to review that but I guess what I'll do is I'll go back and make sure I didn't read it and with that thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode bye bye